Welcome to Short View Trading. This is your morning market hit for Thursday the 12th of March. What matters today for traders? Well, these are truly historic market movements. With the weakness yesterday and overnight in the S&P 500 and other key equity indices, this stock market has moved beyond the parallels it had with any of the sell-offs of the past 10 years during this bull market. As you can see on the chart in front of you now, mapping this sell-off against the July 11, 2011 euro crisis sell-off, the August 15 Chinese currency crisis sell-off and the Jan Feb 18 sell-off, we have moved beyond the low points of those pullbacks. And indeed, to be clear, we're now much closer to what we had in the great October stock market crashes of the last 100 years. Those are the tightest parallels to what we see today. The crash in 1929, the crash in October 1987 and the one in October 2008. Now, whether or not that pattern continues is very difficult to say. What we can point to is that across the board, our medium term models are on clear, strong buy. But having said that, the signal can become even more extreme. If you look at the Colvin model we're bringing up in front of you, you'll see that it does have more extreme signals. Not many, but in October 2008, it becomes more extreme. Equally, if you look at the medium term put to call ratio, a measure of how much investors are hedged to the downside, there are several points over the last 10, 15 years when that, that signal becomes even more extreme. Added to which major sell-offs tend to end when pessimism is truly extreme and capitulation has played out. To date, it's not clear either of those factors are at play. Despite significant downside, there is still a degree of optimism. Now, key here will be what policymakers get up to. Added to which, it's critical to see how this virus continues to evolve. Any sign the virus is worse than expected will likely add to the challenge of markets. In terms of trading today, high levels of volatility clearly make it exceptionally challenging. For the full detail on how we're approaching these markets, please see today's daily rag, available to subscribers and on the website. So what are we watching today? Naturally, we continue to watch for signs of stress in the financial system, and we're watching all the bond spreads and credit spreads closely. In particular, of course, there's an ECB meeting today, followed by a press conference hosted by Christine Lagarde. The markets will be watching closely for any announcement and any further discussion hints of what they intend to do in the press conference. Over and above that, the macro data released today globally is pretty light and second tier and includes things like US household wealth, which whilst important will have changed significantly since the time it was measured. That was your morning market hit for Thursday, March the 12th. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe on YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and or Facebook. Thank you.